Hey guys, today I'm doing an updated video for my earlier video on making roti dough in the KitchenAid stand mixer. In that video, I had newly gotten my stand mixer and so I gave a quick overview of it and how to make roti dough in it with approximate measurements. And since then, lots of you have asked me for exact measurements. So I thought I'll make a quick updated video on my go-to method for making roti dough now, which also has changed a bit since I've been using it regularly and I'll also share the exact quantities and time. So let's get started. I have the 6 quart KitchenAid stand mixer and I normally make dough using 3 cups of flour at a time which is good for making about 20 rotis or chapatis. Then to the flour I add 3-4 teaspoons salt. And then I start the KitchenAid on the stir setting for about 15 to 20 seconds just to mix in the salt in the flour. Then I start with adding 1 cup of room temperature water and 1 tablespoon oil and start the mixer on the lowest speed setting which is 2 or max go up to 4 but no higher than that. The low speed settings are best for dough. Like I mentioned in the earlier video Oil is optional but I always add it because I like the elasticity it adds to the dough and I prefer to add oil in two parts as you will see ahead. I let this go for about 30 to 60 seconds till the dough just about starts to come together and then I start adding additional water a little at a time. In total I add 1 fourth cup of water which is about 4 tablespoons in the next 1 minute or so and I add just a spoonful at a time. Towards the very end, when the dough has almost come together, I add another tablespoon of oil and then I let the stand mixer knead the dough really well for at least another minute. Here you'll see that I've increased the speed from 2 to 4 and I usually increase the setting much earlier, actually right when I'm adding the water and oil. But today I kept it on 2 for the sake of this video just to ensure that even if I speed up the video it will still be a little clear. You can keep on either 2 or 4. The only difference is that when you keep on 4 the whole thing is done in 3 minutes and on 2 it takes about 5 minutes. That's it. But this is why my go to is to run it on 4. This way after I mix the flour and salt on the stir setting. I add the water and half the oil and let it run for a minute. Then over the next minute I add in the rest of the water and towards the end the rest of the oil. And then I just let the machine knead the dough for a final minute. And this gives me extremely well kneaded dough in just 3 minutes from start to finish. I hope you found this video more clearer and useful and if you did Please hit the like button at the bottom of this video to let me know and subscribe if you haven't already. Until I see you again, happy cooking!